Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.38 from Sadiku Book. So the question is apply mass analysis to the circuit in figure 3.85 and obtain I0. Okay, I0 is this one here. So let's highlight that. And we are asked for using mass analysis. Okay, and right off the bat, we know that this this branch has 5 ampere current. So if we draw a loop here, the current here is also 5 ampere, right? Okay, now let's do let's draw another loop here. Maybe this one. Let's name this loop I1. And then what else? I think we can name this loop here as I2. And then we can name this loop here as I3. However, we have this current source here and we don't know the voltage here. So I think we will have to do super loop here with a red color loop here okay so this red one is a super loop maybe let's start from this i1 first so we need to do kvl at i1 kvl at i1 and kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero Okay, now let's start from this 22.5 volt voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative. So we will have 22.5 and then plus I will have 4 I1 here. And then plus I will have 1, 1 multiplied by I1 here. So we'll have I1 and then... 5 ampere is flowing to the same direction. So I will have plus 5 there. Okay. And then I will have 2I1. 2I1. And from there, I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I have minus I2. All of that will equal to 0. So we'll have... What can we do? 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 2, I will have 7 I1. And then minus 2 I2. Okay, and then 27.5, so we will have minus 27.5 on the right hand side. Okay, I think that is all that we can do from I1. So let's do this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do another analysis at this super loop. So let's do KPL at super loop. Okay, we start at this 60 volt voltage source. The current is flowing from negative to positive. So I'll have minus 60 here. And then what else? I will have plus 4I3. Okay, so we'll have 4I3. And then I will have here, I will have 3I2. So I have plus 3I2. And then what else here? I think I will have 1I2. So we will have plus I2 here. And then here I will have 2I2 minus I1. So I'll have plus 2I2 minus I1. Okay, I think that's all at the super loop. All of that will equal to zero, right? Because the sum of the voltage is equal to zero in a loop. Okay, now I will have minus 2I1. And then I will have 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we'll have 6I2. And then we will have plus 4I3. Okay. 
And let's move this minus 60 to the right hand side. So I will have 60 on the right hand side. Let's have this as equation number two. Okay, we have two equations, but we only have two variables. We need one more. Okay, so what can we do? Let's see here. If we plot this I3 here, I3 is in this branch here. And also I2 is in this branch here. So this is going to the right. That is I2. And the current that flows here is 10 ampere, right? So we can do KCL at this node here. So let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is that 10 ampere. No, there are two currents that goes in. This 10 ampere and I3. So I have I3 plus 10. And that will equal to I2. And that means that I2 minus I3 is equal to 10. I2 minus I3 is equal to 10. So we will have equation number 3. Okay, we have three equation with three variables. Now let's solve that with calculator. Set up that and equation solver is number 5. And three variables is number 2. And let's plug that in. So I will have 7 and then minus 2 and then 0 and then minus 27.5. Okay, and then I will have minus 2, and then 6, and then 4, and then 60, and then lastly I will have 0, and then 1, and then minus 1, and that will equal to 10. And we can get I1, I2, and I3 from here, I think. So we'll have I1 is minus 1.14. Okay, let's, let's, I1 is equal to minus 1.14. The unit here is ampere. And then what is I2? I2, I think, is the Y value here. And that is 9.77. 9.77. The unit is ampere. And then what is I3? I3 is minus 0 0.23. Minus 0 0.23. And the unit is ampere. But the question is asking about I0. I0, what is I0? I0 is minus. Yeah, I think minus because uh, 5 ampere is going up, right? So I'll have minus 5. And I1 is also going up. So I will have um, minus 5 plus I1. I think this is the one that we need to find out. So I'll have minus 5. I1 is that one. So I'll have minus 1.14. Okay, I think I just leave it into my calculator here. So we will have calculation there minus 5 minus 1.14. Okay, so I'll have minus 3.86. Minus 3.86 and the unit is ampere. And I think that is the final answer for the question. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in this calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.